Welcome back to the channel today guys. Today we're going to talk about CV joints. Uh, this is the sand rail I purchased this summer. I'm going to tear this axle out of here and we're going to go through the CV joints on it. I have absolutely no what kind of condition they are in. See I already yanked the other axle out of this side here. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to take them apart, how to reassemble them. Yeah. Allen bolts all the way around it, so we're just going to work those all the way out. Then this whole thing, this whole unit will come on out of the car. We can get it out here in the garage and take a better look at what we got going on. Okay, so now that we got this thing out of the car on the garage floor, we can take a much better look at it. So these are our 930 style CV joints. I've already taken the other side apart, cleaned them all up. I'll show them to you in a minute. Uh, unfortunately, it is not good news at all for that and I'll show you what I'm talking about in a little bit but first of all I'm going to go ahead and show you how to disassemble one of these I'll show you what's wrong with the other ones what kind of damage we're looking for and then I will since those are all nice and cleaned up show you how to reassemble those obviously once I get new ones we'll grease them up and put them all back together in the car so I don't know how much the camera will pick this up here on the end of these stub axles there's a little groove and in that groove it's got a little clip on there that holds this all on the splines there so let's get that little clip worked out there out of the groove let's work it around there come right on out once you get that out of the way, we can actually pull the, the CV assembly right on off the axle. Alright guys, so now that I've got the entire axle dismantled, got both ends pulled off, we'll go ahead and dismantle the CV itself. See it's got plenty of flex here now that it's all out. So you're just going to want to flex that thing around until the balls start coming out. Pull all these balls out of the cage. Kind of like so, not real nice. And once you get a few of them out, the whole thing will come apart for you. Go ahead, and you, I don't know if you can see with all the grease on it. One side of this cage is a little bit fatter than the other. The thinner side will be the side that the star comes out of. finagling there she is so now that we have the entire CV assembly apart I'm going to go ahead and get it cleaned up and see what it looks like if we're lucky enough to be able to just re-grease it freshen it up put it back together great if not we'll have to replace parts components or the entire thing just like the other two unfortunately which I'll show you as soon as I get these ones cleaned up and we see what they look like Alright guys, now that we got the greasy part all done, this will be a bit easier to walk you through and show you the rest of the process here. Now, you can see we got everything cleaned up. Took my axles in, actually had them cleaned up, got them powder coated. We got our new RCV C-joints, <clears throat> lifetime warranty, top quality stuff, new RCV guys. Uh, these are the ones we're going to reuse and I will show you the ones we're replacing and exactly why we're replacing them. So this is one of my bad CV joints. As shown before, the best way to disassemble these is to pivot that entire thing. You can get start working your balls out. In fact, you get enough pivot on the, the balls will essentially just start falling out. Then you can pull that assembly apart. You'll notice on the cage, guys, one end 
It's a little bit narrower than the others, a little bit fatter. The star will come out easier the other end. Kind of have to, to work it, the proper angle to come out of there. As you can see, exactly why this is a bad CV joint. Not what you want to see when you start taking them apart. Well, you guys can pick up on that terrible pitting, actual chunks missing out of the star. Terrible wear on the inside of the cage. You race the same way. You can feel it with your nail, little little lips. You're catching actual edges of it are totally deformed. So this is is total junk. There's really nothing you can do with it. So that's why we replaced them. I'll go ahead and show you on this one since we already got it apart. When you're reassembling your CVs, there are a few little things you want to pay attention to. I've heard of guys reversing things for wear purposes and doing things differently without ill effects. But if you are trying to technically do things right, you'll notice on the outer portion here, you have these rings. These rings, when you put them together, generally face away from the axle. Uh, your cage as well, generally that fat portion as well <coughs> of your cage will face away. Some of them are even beveled on the inside here. <coughs> uh, your cage, or your, uh, sorry, your star itself, a lot of them have this little groove out here that will generally face into the axle as well. <coughs> you notice the splines are actually, hopefully the camera's picking that up a tad different inside. Uh, the newer more modern styles don't all have that ring on them. If you notice, this new RCVC V joint does not even have that, but you can tell the difference by looking in there and see the difference of the splines there and on the inside. Now, like I said, a lot of guys will flip this around sometimes to get even wear. I've even seen the stars flipped around as well. Get even wear out of both sides of them without ill effects. So, these are my two brand new RCV CV joints. Literally just came in the mail the other day. Just opened them out of the package here before I started the video. And you guys can see. So this CV joint right from the factory is set up exactly like I said. The outer portion ring here would face away from your axle. The splines there, the inner portion, the thinner portion of your cage. All facing to the inside and set up just the way it should be. And that's exactly the way we're going to set up the others. However, you'll notice this one right here even isn't set up properly. Outer portion, inner portion, they've got the cage in backwards, so we'll go ahead and swap that one around. Would it make a difference? Probably not, but like I said, in the interest of doing it properly since we got it tore apart, that's what we're going to go ahead and do. So when you actually get them all greased up and you're ready to install them, something else to pay particular attention to is you've heard terms like phasing your CV joints, timing your CVs, or clocking them. Not real so critical on a streetcar, but an off-road performance application with long travel, it's definitely can be important. Uh, you'll actually gain degrees of travel by doing it this way. You would lose it if you didn't. Uh, you can start hearing a clicking or a ticking noise because of it. So what people are referring to when you do that <clears throat> is you see on the inside of what will be the inside. You have your larger portions and your smaller portions. Pick one or the other. Say for this instance on this end, we'll put the larger portion at 12 o'clock when we install it onto the axle. So on the other end, we would actually reverse that. We'll pick the small one and put the small end at 12 o'clock. So if you're looking from inside to inside, we have small and big. So as you can see, here I am in the process of reassembling the new RCV joint that did not come correct. What we're going to do, like I said, we got the, the thicker portion of the cage. It's going to go towards the outer. We're going to have the ring on the outer ray. It's going to go towards the outside. Because we don't have that lip on the star, we're going to pay attention to those splines. These will go to the inside. As we start working the balls back into the joint here, You'll notice on the star itself you have fatter portions of the star and smaller portions of the star. It's important to make sure that those go in orientated correctly as well. So as you can see, roughly 12 o'clock here we have a nice big one. 
We're going to install the big to the small on the star. We'll go in like such. And then we'll start working and installing our balls back into the CV joint itself. Now we have a correctly assembled 930 CV joint ready for grease and installation. Alright guys, there you have it. All fresh, clean, back in the car. Good as new, better than ever. Ready for another season. Uh, not gonna lie, job's a dirty bear. Uh, lots of brake cleaner. Lots and lots of rags, and bring your patience if you need to deal with CV joints.